Hello everyone, this is the Red Pumpkin speaking, welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we've started looking around in the city of Summer while trying to find a way to Scaraba. However, now we'll be looking at this Scaraba... Uh, uh, what was it? The Scaraba Cultural Museum and have a look at those hieroglyphs they found. Let's do this! Right now, part of the Scaraba Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Sure, three dollars per person. Study hard. We've got Ram Raisins, the turd's casket. Or a joke right there, obviously. Mumble, mumble. Why would Mr. Spoon from Foresight Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Uh, I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. <coughs> so, yep, that's a pretty big clue there. We're gonna go see Mr. Spoon back in Foresight. From Raisins the Fort's casket. Totten Carmen's casket. Totten Carmen's pencil box. Whatever. <laughs> I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. I guess he made a lot of money off Monotoli. Totten Carmen's lunchbox. Ram Raisin's the fifth training pot. <laughs> the game's being clever. Hey, dude. This room is being remodeled, so I can show it to you. I can't, well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order. So, yeah. That guy's shady, alright? Well, this was fairly educational, except for the fact that none of the exhibits were really helpful at all. This guy. Another nice day. Summers always has sunny days. Well, it sure should. The hospital there. Don't much talk to those people, they always say the same thing. My cousin is a nurse at Tucson. She's not good at administering shots. The one she gave me was painful. You don't say, lady. Kinda looks a lot more modern on the inside than on the outside. Well, there's nobody. Because the travel insurance isn't all that great. Relax, take it easy, it's all in your head. Healthy mind is a healthy body. There's a graffiti on the board, the handwriting is hard to read. Ness can eat my shorts, for a neighbor, he's a loser. Well, thank Pokey. Nothing over there. East of here is the port town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. Well, gee, thanks. To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? I sure am. Hey, dude. Across the sea, there's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. So yeah, basically you've got that uh, posh resort uh, back in Summers, and this here is Toto, mostly the place where regular people live. Psst, psst. Update kitty. Let's see what he's got. If you'll be heading to Scaraba, yacht shop here. Things are expensive down there. So if what are you looking for? What do you like then? On a defense, bottle of water, these things, I've got all I need. Will you be needing anything else? Please come again. Thanks, dude. You've got an epic beard. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy type monsters with my very own eyes. 
You see this little uh, black window to the left over there. I always thought those were eyes or something in the middle of them. I've never kind of figured out what they were. Hey, dude. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you, though, it's a strange place. Thanks, dude. Hello, Jeff. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. Uh, hi, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you please register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Uh, I don't remember what I put there. Or maybe it's the first time I do. Let's call him Ness. Or maybe Pumpkin. Kind of less. Pumpkin. There we go. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Sure is. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later, Jeff. I hope I can see you again when you are feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. So yeah, not clean at all, this guy. Would you like a boat ride? Sure. I don't feel like sailing a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of Kraken. Hmm. I was totally ignoring her magic game business. These days, she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Is our relationship over? Hmm. Poor dude. Meow. I don't want to go out to sea because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. So yep, that Kraken thing sounds ominous. I guess we're gonna meet it sooner or later. Bow. Bow now, brown cow. <laughs> if you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. Uh, I don't know how to play yet. Well, keep at it, boy. Especially since you've got a saxophone. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. You just found fossils, man. Meow. Whatever the cat is doing there, I have no idea. So yeah. Basically, our plan first is to go to Forsyne and see what Mr. Spoon has discovered. After that, we need to get into the Stoic Club and try to figure out what we're gonna do next. So let's do this. That's convenient. That door is hell. Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs, they're all replicas. I'm sure and everyone knows that. Still wanna go see the dead dinosaurs? Pay five dollars a piece for the entrance fee. Is that okay? Sure, please enter. You'll find an academic researcher inside. La 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 la. Hey dude, you want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the top of the theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Well. I don't know the value of a... Uh, 
Not a graph written on toilet paper, but if you're a fan, I suppose it's valuable. Let's go. If only it was that easy to go see a show. Just pay up and it happens. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks, please. Please have your tickets ready. Thanks a lot, please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. Oh, baby, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only. Baby, Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man. Baby. I want to hold you tight. Venus, baby. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Venus. <laughs> oh, yeah. That announcer is really weird. What's going on? So yep, yeah, Mr. Spoon attempt to get on stage and somehow, I don't know, get close to Venus or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what he had in mind. So yeah, it's one of those uh, bits where the game tries to be a little clever, do something different. So yeah, I've actually heard a pretty nice remix of this tune that Venus did with actual lyrics to boot, although it's a fair bit disturbing. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway 5. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Oh, you want another graph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. That's got the sign banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack. So yeah, that's actually mistranslation. Smack seems like she kind of slapped you or something. What she meant was actually smooch. It was a kiss. He's just a boy. He'll get over it. Or maybe he won't. Hmm. Well, I guess Venus made the big times from Tucson. Oh, hi! And now it's back to the Foresight Museum. Hey you, over there, get over here. Ten mission fees, five dollar per person. Is that okay with you? Please go in. You'll find an expert in the area of arts and sciences. 
So yeah, you can't get in. You've got to pay over and over. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. So yeah, same thing. You creepy little dude. Let's see what's the description there. Signed banana. A banana skin with Venus's autograph. You got it. That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph. Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there is a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. And there we are, another dungeon. Wonder what's in there. Filthy attack roach. Need to just brow. Started a continuous attack. Oh, it's not really gonna like that. This is really slow. Wow, they're dodging everything. Continuous attack on this. So this friend's gained 7000 XP and we got a secret herb. Let's give this to Paula. We're actually doing pretty well consumables wise. Although Jeff could use some pick me up. More of those, huh? Step forward and spread its wing. Poor Paula. Finally. Well, we're having some real accuracy problems here. 7000 XP. Dug in the trash can, and there was a croissant inside. Ooh la la! And we've got the stinky ghost. How about that? I think Paula can probably help us on that. Boop. Tried to possess us in a frightening manner. Jeff is afflicted with a mini ghost. Ooh, one damage on Ness. That's nasty. Must have been the mini ghost that did that. Ness offense is down. Oh my god. These ghosts can actually be pretty annoying. Hoping I'll find some butterfly close by. Oh my! More stinky ghost, huh? Kinda don't want to use a PSI rock in there. Let's try PSI fire, see if it makes a difference. This is possessed by a mini ghost. 
Ah, oh, that surely seems to be a tiny bit better. A less possessed by a mini ghost. It's kind of been a while since we've fought much, so it's a good change of pace. This is level 43. HP went up by 10. Paula is level 36. Oh baby! Lot of core stats, a bit of PP which is up all. And a trash can with a broken iron inside. Thinking we've gotten that a while ago. Or maybe not, I don't know. Hey! Don't do that, quit it! They love their brows. They don't rock nearly as much as that guy we saw in Moonside. Jeff's level 39. Well, nothing this way. Oh, some mouses. I don't like that. Deadly mouse and its core at attack. These things do critical like there's no tomorrow. Let's try a PSI Thunder. It's not a lot, but it did the job. Smash biting attack 123. Bite with poisonous fang. Jeff is pretty much done at this point. Could use a secret herb from Paula. Wow, that was close. This kind of reminds me of a. Uh, Ratata Reticate in Pokemon, where they had about the same, uh, how can I say, the same gig, they had a lot of chance of pulling a critical and do tons of damage. Also, yes, we're swimming through sewage. How nice. Another filthy attack roach. Despite the fact that we've got many ghosts, they don't seem to attack more than once a turn. It makes things easier for us. Well, I realize the power of PSI fire. Uh, what was this? Gamma. Oh my. Who oh knows? PSI Rockin', PSI f Fire, and yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll just need one more solid hit from Ness and we're in good hands. 
There we go. A trash can, there was. A broken spray can. Not much to help us, though. Some for Paula and a PSI life up for Jeff. <laughs> oh no, well, at least we caught him. Let's use PSI Gamma, PSI Fire Gamma, and that is. Oh no, Ness is solidified. Melted into tear. Trying not to spend Ness. Uh, PP points too much because I know there's something really evil coming in pretty soon. Sound good. But another stinky ghost. Should have bought a bunch more bombs or something. We go. It's just taking a while now, is it? Well, they're all gone. Not even gonna complain. And a butterfly. That's helpful. It will help Paula quite a bit. Nest too. Ah! We're so dead. Get away either. Call us dead. Ness isn't doing so good. Whew. We made it. Whew. It was intense. Let's see here, there's a Rust Promoter DX inside. Ness takes it.
Whoa. Nicely done, Ness. Well, that's level 38. Jeff's level 40. Maximum HP I went up by 12. Ooh, broken bazooka. We need this quite a bit. Well, I think this is good, uh, good, uh, an as good place as I need to stop. So this is going to be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. This was Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye. -bye.